Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful land of the Netherlands, where we are scrounging by with just five ducats a month. Man, I would think our economy even would be amazing, but it really isn't. Like, we're under our naval force limit. I guess that's what I should do, is I should spend all this money on uh, ships. I was thinking of building buildings with it, but you know what? We probably just need more ships. The thing is, though, yeah, let's, let's save up the cash, because next tech... We get <laughs> new ship types, which are stronger trade strength. So yeah, we'll save up. Anyway, what are we doing right now? Well, we're sailing some wonderful transports over to Formosa so that we can start colonizing in the Chinese region. Once we have a colony in the Chinese region and a 100 Republican tradition, we can get this Sinasapel achievement by getting an Orangist in power. And I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but really don't care. Pronunciation is not my strong point. You should know that by now. Still getting relations up with random nations in Europe. Always pays to, you know, grease the wheels a bit. Oh, Britain, you lost your alliance. Aw. Aw, you lost your alliance. No, Commander. South Atlantic Raging 50s. Oh, that's, what a great name. I love these names. These sea tiles, they have the dumbest names. The Raging 50s. Oh yeah, are we almost done here? Nah, I still have a ways to go. I really want to pull this troop out of the Maldives. Or maybe just delete him? I don't know. Oh, War Sangli is westernizing off of us. Okay. Yeah, you go, War Sangli. Have fun with the rebels. Whee, rebels. Also, we're about to have... Ooh. We're about to have uh, Patriot Rebels spawn in Mexico, so we're going to have to... Um, well, going to have to keep an eye on that shit. I might need to bring my transports back. Or maybe I should just build more transports. Eh, it might make sense to just have like a fleet of ten transports here in the New World. Because ferrying back and forth between uh, North America, uh, Mexico, the Caribbean, and South America is just... Not ideal, but it'd be cool if we had ships that could do it. Anyway, uh, election time. We currently have a 156. I would love to keep the uh, status going here, but the problem is this guy's just a little better. A 312 versus a 056? Wow. I think I gotta go with the 056, unfortunately. Damn. Wow, 13 military a month? It's nuts. And we can't change it for 14 years. Wow. Wow. Come on, hurry up. Oh, is it time yet? Or is it one more year? One more year. Okay. New Portugal is improving relations with us. Is that you? It is. All right. New Portugal down here. They're probably going to be the main rival for my colony of Belgium. So we need to get down the coast as fast as possible to try to block him off if we can. I don't think we can, though. He's, he's moving too quick. Because he's focusing all of his colonizing on that one area, whereas we're going all over the fucking map. Almost done with Chesapeake. Cool. So we're going to yank that guy, and he's going to come up here to Formosa. Yay! I think every single one of these has 6,000 natives, right? Six, six, yeah, they're all 6,000 natives. We'll just go for the highest base tax, the bottom one. <laughs> Expand the trade company. Gets a claim on Sierra Leone. They expect the province to be conquered within a few years. Or ignore their request. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore their request. I don't really care about the trade companies. They do their thing, and I'm happy for them, but they can go suck my balls, really. If they want to cause conflict, I'm not interested. Just not. If I declare on Portugal who owns Sierra Leone, then uh, that will call in Castile against me. And I'm not interested in fighting Castile. Castile's my buddy. Castile's my homie. Cool. Natives are getting slaughtered. That's always a good time. We lost just a couple hundred guys. They lost 3,000. That's just disgusting. That is disgusting. There you go. Chesapeake is done. Woo! And Munster collapsed. No. All right, Chesapeake's done. So I <laughs> I do need <laughs> to start another colony over here. 
but maybe not right this second. Let's get Formosa going first. There we go. Good. Then we have, oh yeah, where are you calling? You guys are colonizing Nipmuc. All right, so they're gonna go north. The, my colony of Belgium is going north with his colonists, that's fine. Uh, we'll go south along the coast, but we need to strip a colonist out of somewhere. I guess the Maldives? Is there any rush on the Maldives? Eh, not really. All right, strip him out of the Maldives, because that'll finish soon anyway. And let's get Roanoke going, nice. God, those colonists, those colonies. I mean, it doesn't look that expensive, right? But it is. Oh, wait, subsidies. Oh, I'm giving fucking subsidies to Dutch Columbia. That's where my money's going. I'm giving subsidies to my colony. Stop that. I'm sure Twitch chat was yelling at me about that, but I didn't even notice. That's where all our money was going. Shit. Well, shit. Also, Aragon and Sicily are at war. Huh. Aragonese conquest of Malta. Except it looks like Sicily's gonna conquer Aragon too. They're conquering each other. They have both they have both passed each other in the night. Their 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 boats sailed past each other. Aragon dropped troops off in Sicily and Malta, and Sicily dropped troops off in Aragon. They're gonna be at a freaking stalemate. There is that is just the strangest thing. Isn't Taiwan part of China in this game? Yes, that's why we're colonizing Taiwan. Because this should be enough to give us the Sanasapel achievement. I don't know if we have to... We probably have to finish the colony. Does it say that? Let me see. I don't know if it actually says we have to finish the colony or what. Let's see. Achievements. There you go. Sanasapel. Um, own a province in China. I don't know if you have to finish the colony or not. I guess we'll find out. This is uh, China proper. Yes. So this counts as China. China proper, China proper, China proper, China proper. Yeah, this counts as China. East Asian trade port. So that should count when it finishes. Oh, our cores are almost done too. Oh, nice. These cores are just flying by. Oh, shit, plague. Um... Local autonomy in Mabuila. I really don't care. I'm not going to spend 130 ducats on some random province in Africa. Sorry, Africa. I'm not sorry. But this is a game about coloni colonizing and expansion. Why would I care about the well the well being of some random people off on some other continents? You know, especially if they're plague stricken. You know, fuck that. Do I want to risk revolts over here? Let's see. Republican tradition, positive stability, imperial integrity, tolerance. No, because I currently have an advisor that's lowering the revolt risk. So I don't want to lower the autonomy there. Because our advisor would really... If our advisor dies, then bad. Let's keep looking for statesmen. Still nothing. It's too bad. Uh-oh, English Patriots are at 90%. So, I think I'll pay them down. There you go. Down to 60. Good. Just keeping an eye on it, because I don't need to fight rebels over there. I'll do it if there's... I'll do it if I have good ship coverage, uh, so we can ferry troops back and forth, but I currently don't have good ship coverage, so don't want to do it. Hmm, still 14 nationalism here. That's 28 years of nationalism. Damn. And that recent uprising, when will that go away? 85. Two more years, we're going to start having uprisings again. Uh, oh, and Russia's going to peacefully vassalize Finland. Well, have fun with that. Here you go. Have some access, Russia. That'll make you happy. And Bavaria, have some access, bro. I wonder if I can get people out of the, um, not the coalition, if I can get people to stop rivaling me, that'd be good. England, I don't care. They, they can suck my balls. Austria, I don't care. But I want the Ottomans to not hate me so much. Um, I guess it's okay with Sweden and Portugal. Portugal's good because our colonies need to start killing each other. Uh, yeah, see a pilot. Have a good night. And Sweden's good because at some point I do want to release Denmark and start feeding him. 
or Norway or whatever. I mean, there's no real rush. And we should be done with some cores now. Are we done? Are we done with our cores? Almost? 97%, baby. 97%. Come on, finish that fucking core. Please? Please? Please to be core? Please to core? Russia wants a marriage. You got it. Please to core? There we go. Yeah, it's all cored up. Does that lower the revolt risk at all? I don't think so. Do we have diplomats available? Oh right, the plan the plan for West Africa was to vassalize Mali because he westernized. Vassalize Mali and then just feed him everything. I mean, he's got cores and claims and shit. So we could do that. Possible. Oh, and there's gold up here. Holy shit, I forgot there's gold up here that we need to take. If we want that mission, a pile of gold, we have to take this province. We just have to. I still have my claim. But I guess there's no rush. There you go. Russia vassalized Finland. That was expected. Oh, did I tech up yet? No, I forgot to tech up. Let's go tech up. Baba. Only costs 414 to tech up. Wow, that is cheap. I love it. Marushan infantry and charge infantry. Ooh, what do we want? Let's see, Marushan charge. Shock or fire? That's really the difference, is three pips of shock versus two pips of fire. I think I'm going to go with the uh, fire infantry. Oh, and our force limit went up by quite a bit. Nice. Oh, probably because we're finishing cores. Milan's back to friendly. And he would ally. Okay. Kind of have to decide here if we want to stay over the Diplo limit or not. I think the answer is no, because we have three Diplo policies, so staying over the Diplo limit is just a bad idea. So I'm not going to take an alliance with you. I still don't know why we have an alliance with Bavari. I guess because he's our religion. That makes sense. That makes sense. How goes the revolts down here? Have you finished? Penal colony, no. Still have not finished these revolts. Well, the unrest is lower. Oh, he's converted. Oh, he converted this to, to reform. That was quick. Very good. Oh, okay, everything's converted. We'll accept this one. Well, that's nice. Uh, this war is going quite well. And our cores are almost done. Okay. Yay, colony arrived in Roanoke. Woo! Man, I wish I could separate peace out of this, but it pisses off your ally if you separate peace, so... Not a fan. Look at all his core is almost done. So close. I can taste it! What should our diplomats be doing? <laughs> Keep Aachen on our pocket. It's the Aachen pocket. The Aachen pocket. And get uh, Brittany in there as well. Shit, these rebels are so close. But if I finish the cores, they probably won't spawn. Finish the cores before they get to 90, and then I can relax a little bit, maybe. Please? Damn it, they're at 90. Fuck me. Alright. Just got unlucky there that they kept getting to 90. Yay, we core to sex. Woo! No unrest. Good. That's actually nice. And all this shit's cored as well. Woo! Okay, so the unrest is gone. No, it's not. But it is down considerably. It's at 2%. So this should give us a colonial nation over here. This is all in the Mexico region, am I right? Yeah, this is all Mexico. So we need a name for... Dutch Mexico? No? Wait, how is that not a... One, two, three... Four, five. How is that not a colonial? Is that end of the month? Maybe it's at the end of the month. Maybe. Maybe. No. How's that? 
How is that not a colonial nation? What? I did wait for the end of the month. It's it's July now. It's still not there. Oh, there it goes. I had to wait till for July 2nd. Okay, so we need a name, Twitch chat. Dutch Mexico is not gonna work. I mean, it would work, but that's a shitty name. What do you guys like? Let's see, people are saying potato. New potato. Senesa... Sinasapel Taco, Taco Land, Dexaco, Taco R I J K. What's R I J K? Penal Colony Two One Nine, Dutch Sombrero. I like that. Dutch Sombrero is pretty good. Dutch Mexico. No. Dutcho Hispania. New Potlandia. Flemland. I do have a lot of phlegm today. Stupid Sexy Flanders, Taco Time, Fabulous Texas, well I don't know about that, maybe, no, I mean, th this most of this land is in Texas, but these are actually in uh, Nuevo Leon, so it's not just Texas, it's like Texaco, South Texas, Boyos, <laughs> Los Boyos Hermanos, no, Dutch Vacation Land, Frizia. Burrito Dyke. What? New Burgundy. Dutch Jalapeno. I wish you could get uh, Enyes to work. Uh, on, my, on, on most American keyboards, you can do an Enye by holding down Alt and doing on the number pad 0, 2, 4, 1. But... Oh, it does do the Enya. Oh, it just puts up a bunch of random characters first. Okay, I can do that. Jalapeno. Look at that, you can do it. What's it with the random characters, though? Alt-0241, and it puts in random shit, and then it gives you the Enya. What the fuck? What is wrong with that? <laughs> Useless land, nether text, Dutchico. The sad states of Flanders. New Holland. No, we already have... We already have Belgium. That's sort of like New Holland, right? These names! These names are so bad! All right, I'm going to go with United Sombreros. I like that. Done. United Sombreros. Together we stand or something. Where's your capital, United Sombreros? It's in Karankawa. All right. So hopefully he can eat English Mexico. That would be fun. Um, and hopefully he'll colonize too. He should, right? These colonies, they all start with Expansion 7, which is crazy. Oh wow, 15 revolt risk. Why is it at 15? So, I just handed them, oh it's because I have all these bonuses. I'm in the empire, so I get minus three revolt risk. I have an advisor for minus three revolt risk. I've got other shit going on. So my revolt risk was technically zero, and his is at 15. I better lead this army here, shit. Wow, really? Six maneuver? That's useless, but okay. Okay, bro. English Patriots, where are they going to be? Oh, Ivory Coast and Grain Coast. Nah, they're not going to spawn. That revolt risk will go away. I am not worried. Colonial Conquest on the Aztec, Mishtec. Mishtec will give Castile, blah, blah, blah. Mishtec will seat Ishmael to Castile. So. He only took one province. He took this one. Probably had a claim on it. That's fine. There's going to be so many revolts over here.
Oh shit, they're gonna spawn. Really? There was a 1.5% chance. There was a 1.5% chance that they were gonna spawn, and they spawned. Are you fucking kidding me? And there they are. I can't believe that! There was a 1.5% chance of spawning, and they spawned. Oh, come on, game. Get on the boat. That's bullshit. <laughs> Whatever. At least they can't spawn again for another 20 years. Alright, Aachen's almost ready. French, <laughs> French Canada's improving relations. Okay. Okie dokie. You think Castile gave me land? Oh. They did. It went to United Sombreros. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, he's just going to have rebels, though. But. Neat. Is he coring it? No, he's not even coring it. He's like, fuck it. Not even coring it. Could not give a single fuck. Yeah, colonial nations only colonize at 25% of the speed of everyone else. Which is... interesting? I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. Trade company boom, nice. Uh, let's see, more trade efficiency or more ducats? Just give me the trade efficiency. Because we, we make all of our money on trade anyway. Where's my damn boats? There they are, come on. Oh, really? They got it at... They got it at 7%! So not only did they spawn with only a 1.5% chance, but they sieged up the province with a 7% chance to siege. That's f And I'm right here. Fuck you. Fucking rebels. That's bullshit. You're not supposed to get that fucking lucky twice in a row. Also, Mutapa is westernizing? What? Someone needs annexing. Fuck you, rebels. Bullshit. Ah, there goes Mogadishu. Thank goodness. Okay, we finished the colony over here. So we need to get some more of these little islands and shit. I might want to do these two, or... Oh, shit. Fernando Poe. Why didn't I take Fernando Poe? I don't know. I'm stupid. I might want to do Cape Coast. Or Wida. Or both. They both make sense. Um, hmm. Well, before I hit OK... Oh, I'm already allies. Wait, what am I worried about? If I'm already ally, who cares? Okay, so Mogadishu is gone. I get his troops, right? Just some random idiots. Three soldiers. Oh, five soldiers. Okay, well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, let's get relations up with War Sang... Wait, War Sangli? Sure, War Sangli, go. And we're going to eat Melindi soon. Maybe not fully. Oh, we need to eat Mutapa first. We'll eat Mutapa first. That's fine. Why does Melindi have cores in Mutapa? Why does Melindi have cores in Mutapa? What? And it's like a random... Maybe Rebels must have put that down. There's just a random province with a Melindy core. Nothing around it has a Melindy core. So he didn't own all this. Some Rebels. Weird. Anyway. Okay, just... No, don't assault the fort. That'd be silly. Not like we're taking attrition out here anyway. Okay, we have a free colonist, though. We have to decide where he goes. This guy still hasn't fucking arrived here. That's crazy. Easy how long it takes to get there. It takes like three years or whatever to get over there. Hmm. What the hell? Daiviet has provinces in Ayodhya? What the fuck? Alright. 
maybe right here or these islands maybe these are good stepping stones could continue our Australia could continue down the coast up here but I think this is less of a priority maybe here in Mexico is a good idea yeah, let me try to block Castile off over here. It's nothing personal, Castile. I'm just going to block your ass off, okay? Don't mind me. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Castile. Alright, he's converting here now? Yeah, he's converting. Alright, I'll put my troops there. Man. Okay, Sicily was just full annexed by Aragon. That's nice. Did you enjoy Freedom Sicily? Because it's gone now. Huh? What? Hold on, someone's tweeting me random shit. What? Oh. Yeah, Twitter's just a pile of garbage. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. I just try to pretend it doesn't exist. Okay, how old is this guy? He's 39. I think it's okay to lower the autonomy here. Yeah. Thing is, when that advisor dies, we'll lose three, we'll gain three revolt risk. However, he's only 39. He has no chance to die yet. He starts gaining chances to die. Like 1% chance is at 41, and then 42 is 2% chance, and so on. So he'll probably live a while. We'll keep that bonus for a while. It's good. It's good times. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Any revolts over here yet? Nope. 15% revolt risk. Oh, he's actually lowered it quite a bit. How did you lower your vote risk? Let's see. Oh, he's a republic. Republican tradition. Okay. That's about it, though. He does still have some revolt risk. Hmm. Well, hopefully he'll build an army, because he doesn't have one right now. Yes, we finally arrived. Woo, we made it. We made it. What is my shirt? It's a pretzel. My shirt is a pretzel, believe it or not. Do you like pretzels? Do you like dags? And Ryuku didn't spawn. Aw, oh, damn it, Ryuku. Why didn't you spawn? Ooh, Brunei has a vassal? He has Sulu as a vassal. Interesting. What the? Oh. Majapahit is eating Makassar. You bastard. Majapahit, how could you? How could you? Hmm. Free diplomat. What do we want to do with our diplomat? No, Milan's probably okay. Croatia's really happy. If he wasn't so far away, I could vassalize him. Oh, that's right. I need to vassalize Aachen. Derp. I keep forgetting about this stupid mission to vassalize Aachen. It's like, well, why haven't you done it yet? I don't know. I forgot. I forgot how to think. I have forgotten more than you'll ever know about this game. Oh, geez, 3, 6, 13. This is the most imbalanced thing. And we did not get the achievement, did we? So our colonist arrived, and you don't get the achievement right away. Let's see. Library. Oh, I did! That, that, oh, I didn't see the pop-up. We did get the achievement. So you don't have to finish the colony. Okay. And Twitch was wrong about a couple things, but we did, we did just get the achievement Sinosipel. So this achievement is specifically... You have to... Oh, I guess it's going to show up in my completed things. There it is. Have the Orangists in power with 100% Republican tradition while owning a province in China. And a colony, even if you just started, the colony counts as owning a province in, in China. So we just got that. We have 
Republican tradition, and we did that by having the state. Every every year that you have the status and power, you gain one Republican tradition. Uh, but Twitch chat was saying that you have to have the oranges at a hundred strength. The oranges have to be at a hundred power. That's not true because we just got the achievement, and the oranges are only at fourteen power. Sweet. Now, why didn't we get the pop up for the achievement though? Should we didn't get the pop up in the game? It's actually pretty nice. It's it's a freaking orange in front of like a pagoda thing. Oh well. Cool. So Sanasapel completes. Yay! Did anyone see the pop-up in the game? Because I didn't see the pop-up. I think I would have noticed it. Or maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. We can start taking ideas again. Hey UK, you want to declare on me? Come on, Britain, declare on me. Cool. Which was wrong, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not... Ooh, price of tropical wood goes up by 35%, nice. It's not that I'm pointing out specifically that Twitch was wrong. I'm just pointing out that uh, just because it says 100 tradition doesn't mean it means 100 orangist strength. It just means 100 tradition. And a lot of things like that you'll never know unless you play through and test it yourself. So it's good to have... Uh, people testing that stuff. Alright, let's finish that mission, baby. Are you ready, Aachen? Oh, he's fucking ready. He is fucking ready. Nine base tax here. Essentially for free. Okay, we got the Ivory Coast back. whoop de do And you're my bitch. We finally finished our mission. Yay! 25 Diplo, 25 Admin. That's pretty good. Next, claim Sierra Leone. Establish trade in the East Indies. We have to get the strongest trader in Malacca. I think we'll just go for claim Sierra Leone. All right, Portugal. I'm here to claim your shit. Give me your shit. Also, our missionary is doing a really good job. I'm surprised. Is this like a base one? Oh, it's just a base one. <laughs> it takes three years to convert this shit, but it's just a base one tax. Let's convert the British stuff first because it's faster. And the British provinces cannot revolt for like 10 years or something, because they recently had a revolt, which is nice. You guys have rebels yet? No. Wow, how does this guy not have rebels yet? I don't know. Magic. You coring this yet? He's not even coring this province. He's like, fuck it. He does not give any fucks. Are we going to take London? Uh, what the hell? Britain just declared on Bennett. Are we going to take London? I don't know. Um, it'd be nice. It'd be really nice to take London. And his allies are garbage. Alright, now this is kind of bad. Oh, wow. Castile has three colonies at once over here. Holy shit. This is kind of bad. We're going to get... Uh, yeah, there you go. Colonialism against our ally. Hopefully it won't trigger a war. I really hope it doesn't. Ooh, what is this? Leiden University. William, Prince of Orange, the leader of the Dutch Revolt in the, in the Eighty Years' War, founded the Leiden University in 1575, that was nine years ago, as the emerging Dutch Republic did not have any universities. Spain controlled southern Leuven, where the only university in the Netherlands was. Prince William decided to found the first Dutch university in Leiden to educate citizens for religious purposes and give the country and its government educated men in other fields. Academic study had become important as the scientific renaissance had begun, and Spanish attacks in the pre oh, had begun, and Leyden was chosen as a reward for the heroic defense of Leyden against the Spanish attacks in the previous year. Philip II of Spain appears on the official foundation certificate, as he was still the de jure Count of Holland, although he forbade any subjects to study. Interesting. Sponsor it, and gain 100 admin points and prestige, or just lose prestige. Of course I'll fucking sponsor it. I wonder if this has any triggered events down the line. Probably not. That's one thing this game desperately needs is more um, event chains. Like events that later on will lead to other events. Ooh, textile manufacturing. Nice. And it's almost time to upgrade the Dutch fleet. We're almost ready. We're almost there. Let's see. All 
Okay, we're not over our limit anymore. Good. Let's see, vassal, alliance, vassal, alliance, alliance, alliance. Okay. Naval supplies in Roanoke. Very nice, very nice. Maldives are almost done. Portuguese Colombia is improving relations. Well, that's not going to help you, dude. When my colony comes for your blood, you're fucking toast, man. You are off the gift list. Can I guarantee the France, Ottomans, or Russian? No. To guarantee nations, you have to be ten times stronger than they are. You know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. We got our achievements! Sinasapel! Woo! You know, you have to finish the fucking colony. You just have to start it. That is beautiful. And uh, luckily, Taiwan, which is completely uncolonized at the start of the game, luckily Taiwan counts as the China region. So we got the achievement. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Where we can go for four for trade. We're going to keep trying for four for trade. We'll get there eventually. But that'll have to wait. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.